What brought me to the small Caribbean island in 1995 was being married to a scuba diver who loved underwater photography. How fortunate that we discovered Seba, known as the Unspoiled Queen, and was rated as one of the 10 best dive destinations in the world. From the very first moment when we boarded Wynn Air in St. Martin for the 12-minute flight to Seba and landing on the world's shortest commercial runway, we knew that this was going to be an unforgettable experience. To see this island making its presence known, jetting out 3,200 feet from the ocean, makes a lasting impression on one's mind and heart. What is so special about this island is that it only has itself to give to you. I am still experiencing new sights that show the diversity of its beauty represented in the many hiking trails, the several vegetation zones, including the elfin forest and the tide pools. To see the hummingbirds, the frigate birds, the red-billed tropic birds, the parrots chattering to each other while in flight, the setting sun dipping its head below the Caribbean waters, and in the evening hearing the voices of the tree frogs saying goodnight to you, is the Seba that I call Nirvana. This is the island we fell in love with and the island that we wanted to have a home on. John was fortunate to see his dream come true, and the pilot house was built and completed in 2007, and it was the same year that he was diagnosed with stomach and esophageal cancer. With the help from Hospice of the Western Reserve Team, he was able to have one of his wishes granted, and that was to be on Seba and have one last dive, photographing the sea creatures that he loved. Thank you, Hospice, from the bottom of my heart for giving John that opportunity to complete his journey. I welcome you to stay at the pilot house to experience Seba and hope that it will touch your heart as it has mine. This is the island I call home. For tickets to win a one-week stay up to four people in the pilot house, and a $1,000 travel voucher, visit hospicewr.org slash walk.